Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moin und willkommen zu der Episode Nummer 32. 32, 32. And uh, how to make a bisschen grammatic. So today we will dive into Luxembourgish grammar. We will focus on Luxembourgish personal pronouns and I will provide you with easy to follow examples. Pronouns such as du, dir, meaning you in English, are an essential element of Luxembourgish grammar which cannot be ignored or rushed. But before we have a look at the several different forms of you in Luxembourgish, let's first of all answer the following question. What is a pronoun? So are you ready for this episode? Bast du prat? Dann lass. So simply put, a pronoun is a small word which can be used instead of a noun. Examples in English would be, for example, he, she, we, you, his, it. So, and in Luxembourgish, this would be jen, hat, du, dir, et, and so weiter. So use a pronoun to make a sentence less cumbersome. Imagine, for example, always having to use someone's name when talking about them in a conversation rather than just being able to say jen or hat. Okay. So all Luxembourgish pronouns are governed by the grammatical cases. So we have three grammatical cases in Luxembourgish. I will do some episode as well about these grammatical cases. So we have the nominative case, the accusative case and the dative case. The pronouns are also governed by the number, so is it plural or singular, as well as the gender of the noun. All of these factors can affect the pronoun, so change its form. Luxembourgish pronouns are also split into categories. For example, we have the personal pronouns, we have possessive pronouns, possessive pronouns like mein or ming. We have reflexive pronouns, so we mösch, dösch, sösch. Okay, but today, don't worry, uh, I will concentrate on um, in this episode on the personal pronouns and I will put the focus on the personal pronouns for you, so du and dir. Okay, so a personal pronoun refers to a specific person. So they are small words which replace nouns, for example, du, jen, hat, mir, sie, et, and so weiter. And they refer to the person speaking or to the person spoken to or to the person spoken about. Let's take a look in this lesson at the various ways of saying you and also writing you, uh, first of all, in the nominative and um, accusative case. And afterwards, I will talk a little bit about the dative case. Okay, so do. Let's start with do. Okay, so do is the singular informal way of saying you in Luxembourgish. You would use do when speaking to just one person who you know on an informal basis, such as friends, family members, children, or people younger than you. Let's have two examples. Wir machen zwei Beispiele. For example, to ask someone, where do you come from in an informal situation, you would say, Fuvo kennst du? Fuvo kennst du? Or, for example, to ask someone, 
as well informally. What are you doing this evening? So let's imagine that you have a friend on the phone or you are speaking to your neighbor and you would like to ask him, what möchtest du heute Abend? What möchtest du heute Abend? Okay, so this is to do. And then we have dir. Dir is the plural informal way of saying you in Luxembourgish, so the plural form. You would use dir when speaking to two or more people whom you know uh, on an informal basis. Okay, do you um, have noticed now the difference between do, do is when talking to one person you know very well in an informal situation and dir is talking to two people or more in an informal situation. Zum Beispiel, for example, how would you ask a couple of friends, do you come with us? Yes, this is, komm dir Madeis. Komm dir Madeis. Or how would you ask friends, uh, what are you doing this evening? This is, was macht dir den Abend? Was macht dir den Abend? Okay, so listen also for the pronunciation. We won't say, was macht dir den Abend, you would hear was macht dir den Abend? Yes? Okay. And then we have another dir. Dir, written with a capital D when writing. This is the singular and plural formal way of saying you in Luxembourg. So formal and you would use this when addressing one or more people whom you don't know very well, who are in a position of authority or maybe even older than yourself. For example, a police officer, strangers, your boss. So the formal version of you, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning, um, is in, in Luxembourgish always starts with a capital letter when you have to write it. For example, in an email, then you would use the Dear with a capital D. Okay, so let's put you to the test. How would you ask someone you don't know or in a formal situation, where do you come from? Yes, so this is Fuvo, kommt dir. Okay, so the pronunciation between dear with a capital D and dear in an informal situation, uh, there is no difference. Yeah, and for example, to ask someone in a formal situation, can you help me please? You would say, Könnt dir mir helfen, wann ich gelieft? Könnt ihr mir helfen, wann ich gelieft? Let's practice now the different forms um, with some translation sentences. I will give you a sentence in English and you will tell me the answer in Luxembourgish. So how would you ask someone in an informal situation and the plural form? Sorry, how would you ask friends in an informal situation? Where do you live? Hopefully you've said, wo wohnt ihr? Wo wohnt dir? So dir, informal, plural. Satz 2. How would you ask someone as well um, in an informal situation but singular? Can you help me please? Yeah, so can you help me please? Informal singular is Kannst du mir helfen, wann ich gelieft? Kannst du mir helfen, wann ich gelieft? And then, how would you ask someone formal, where do you come from? Easy, we have just seen this. That was, Fuvo kommt dir, but if you write it, you have to write it with a capital D. Um, how would you ask someone, so one person informally, do you like to do sports? This is, möchtest du gern Sport? Möchtest du gern Sport? How would you ask your neighbors, where do you go on vacation? So your neighbors are plural and you know your neighbors, then you would say, wo geht ihr an Vakanz? Wo geht ihr an Vakanz? And the last sentence, How would you ask someone in an informal situation, how do you do? Or how are you? 
Huh. So for this question, we need to use the dative case if you want to use the you. So you can ask someone, how do you do just a vegedet? But if you want to be more personal, more, more, more polite and use the you in, in your question, we will need to use the dative case. So let's have a closer look at the personal pronoun for you in the dative case case. So listen how we ask, how do you do in an informal situation? This is, we geht at dir? We geht at dir? So we don't say, we geht at du? No, 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 no. Okay. So du is the personal pronoun in the nominative case. Okay. And this becomes dir in the Dative case, very important. So do becomes dear in the dative case. So I will not now explain what the dative case is. Just remember for the question, if you want to ask someone, how are you or how do you do in an informal situation, you would say, wie geht es dir? Wie geht es dir? And do you know how to ask the same question in an formal situation? So when you don't know the person very well or it's the first time you meet someone, then you would say, We geht it ihr? We geht it ihr? Okay, so this is the formal form of, of uh, dir in the dative case. And you would as well ask someone, We geht it ihr? Uh, if you meet uh, several uh, persons in an informal situation. For example, you meet your friends, they say, Oh, Okay, so I hope that this was now um, clear so that you have to make the distinction in Luxembourgish with the grammatical cases. Yeah, so today we have talked about do and dir in the nominative case and dir and ihr in the dative case or meaning you in English. So Don't ruin. I recommend that you listen again and again to this podcast, that you practice and yes, keep practicing. Practicing makes perfect. And that's the most efficient way that it sticks in your head. And in my online course, A1 Foundation, I go more in depth about these different forms of you, explaining also when you should use dear, when you should use do, when you use the grammatical case nominative, when the accusative and when the dative case, so that you get a better understanding of how the Luxembourgish language works. So this is all well explained in that self-study course. Um, you will find the link in the show notes below. So, dann so eine Sch Merci für die Nullaustrünn und bis nächste Woche. Hadi!